Alright, what's up guys? Um, I got a couple of videos here that we're going to be talking about fats. Um, we need to talk about it. It's a, it's a necessary topic. There's a lot of confusion and misinformation out there regarding fats and, and which ones to eat, which ones not to eat. Um, this first one I just want to talk about the process of hydrogenation. Um, and this is where they take an oil that is usually liquid at room temperature and they turn it into a solid, uh, like shortening or, or, or margarine. Um, or, or something else to put into a product. Now, uh, you may have seen this on the back of a food label, it says hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oils. That's what we're talking about. And basically, this is how the whole process goes down. You've got these refineries that are taking the four most plentiful sources of these oils, which is uh, corn, soy, cottonseed, and canola. Um, they take these and they extract them fairly violently. They use a, um, they use a high high temperature, high pressure um, pressing of it and they extract all the oil and to get the last few drops out they usually add hexane to it um, just to get the last bit that they can so uh, to chemically remove it. So they've got these oils now and the next step is they'll add these tiny uh, medical particles to it, usually nickel oxide um, and then they'll subject it to, to again high temperature, high pressure reactors um, and they'll add um, hydrogen to it. And this is actually the part where it turns from, from liquid into solid. Um, the next step is to add these soap-like emulsifiers just to give it the, the proper consistency. Now, the, at this point, the oil has been heated and these oils are fairly delicate. And so they've, been, they've gone rancid, and, and which means they, they basically got burnt. Um, and so they're, they're, they're foul smelling and they have to go through a deodorization process now which where they'll, they'll just reheat it again and they'll steam clean it um, just to remove the, the bad odor. Um, after this it has a fairly unappetizing um, gray color to it and so they'll bleach it and they'll add some strong dyes and some strong flavors um, just to make it yellow again and actually resemble uh, butter. And uh, at this point, they'll finally um, finish their process and they'll, and they'll package it and they'll put it in cubes and in tubs and they'll stick it on the shelf and they'll sell it to us as a health food. Now, you don't have to be a biochemist or anything like that to realize that that is not natural. There is nothing healthy about a hydrogenated oil. In fact, it is a trans fat now. That is what's happening during this process is the molecules are being translocated on these, on these um, fat molecules and, and they're being destroyed. That You can't even find uh, molecules like this in anywhere in nature. It is completely man-made and there is no joke about what is happening in your body. These are acting as free radicals doing all kinds of damage. It's well understood that trans fats cause all kinds of illnesses including heart disease, diabetes, cancer, arthritis, and a host of others. So it's, it's, it's um, absolutely necessary that you stay away from these uh, as much as you can. Um, look back on the back of the labels and look for hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oils um, and stay away from those. Now you gotta ask the question, you know, why are they doing this in the first place? Uh, well, the first, the first reason is there, there's, there's an abundance of, of these oils. I mean, they, we mass produce soy and corn and cottonseed and canola, so, and, the, and we use them in all kinds of foods um, in the supermarket and everywhere else. I mean, and so they've got all of these, they have this plentiful source, and so they turn it into, uh, they use the extraction process, and they get these oils, and now they want to, to utilize, they want to make money off it, so they sell them. And they claim that, you know, well, they're, they're vegetable oils, so, the, so they're, they're healthy for you, but they're absolutely destroying them. They're very delicate. They cannot uh, withstand a process uh, that's as violent as this is. Um, the other reason being that uh, it significantly um, increases the shelf life of products, which is just a miracle for anyone who's trying to, you know, preserve things. I mean, they'll put it in crackers and in breads and, and cookies or whatever else, and they'll stick those products on the shelf and it will last a long time without growing mold or without going bad. So it's no wonder they want to use these, um, these oils. Not too bad, they'll, they'll still taste pretty good. They're mostly just chemicals and they're more plastic-like plastic -like if you look, under them, look at them you know, underneath a microscope. Not a pretty sight, but um, they, they help out the products staying on the shelf longer. So that's basically why they're doing it. 
Um, and you just need to stay away from them as much as possible. They're so bad uh, for the body. So do not eat hydrogenated oils or any vegetable oil that has been heated um, in a process like that. Okay, I want to talk about the next video about saturated fats because there's even more confusion about that. So stay tuned for that. I'll just click on the next one and you can watch it. All right, we'll see you guys.